One of the biggest battery companies in the world, a top 10 global battery company, who are part owned by the Volkswagen Group, are suing a small town in the United States. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Go Sean High Tech. The Volkswagen Group own 25% of this mega battery company. Now, they actually have begun manufacturing batteries in California. However, they had plans to manufacture a huge facility in a small town in Michigan. Now, this small town, they're fairly poor. Uh, people there in general don't have a high standard of living. That's what people say. However, there's been a lot of controversy. Go Shanghai Tech are suing the Michigan Township over a $2.4 billion factory. Chinese battery manufacturer Goshan is suing the township where it planned to build and did have permits to build an electric vehicle battery factory. It is alleging breach of contract in relation to the project. Now, technically, that would be right. There, is, there has been a breach of contract here. The small township did in fact give Goshan High Tech a permit and lots of plans and everything was approved by this town for them to build this mega battery factory. However, the board members that approved this were subsequently fired, replaced with board members who don't like these plans, and then the plan was canceled. Now, Chinese battery manufacturer Goshan are obviously furious. The company filed a lawsuit on Friday against Green Township. This is a town just north of Big Rapids, which is three hours northwest of Detroit in the US District Court, Western District of Michigan, the filing has been lodged. It says that in November, the town abruptly reneged on contractual obligations established for the project in 2023. Now, should make it very clear, Republicans do not want this project to go ahead. They've been against this from day one. So there's a bit of political pressure here coming from you know, parts of the US government. The Green Township Board gave no justifiable reason for its sudden refusal to honor its contractual obligations since the lawsuit. The only thing that changed between October and November was the composition of the township's board, it says, most of whose members are now adherently opposed to Goshan's project. Now, an immediate issue in the federal lawsuit is the construction of water infrastructure for the project, which was promised to bring 2,000 350 new jobs and a dramatic change to this rural backwater community. Township board members aim to block an extension of a water line running through from Big Rapids through its boundaries to serve the plant despite previously entering into a development agreement allowing it. Water, of course, is critical to the success of the factory. It can't operate without the water that it needs. It requires 715,000 gallons per day to operate according to the lawsuit. For context, I mean, that's about 3 million liters of water every day. The broader issue is general opposition to the plant by newly elected township board members who replaced pro-factory board members in a November recall election. So a recall was forced on the previous election and it's really all because of this. this this issue has divided the community. One side of the community believes it should happen. They think it's going to bring wealth to the community. It's going to bring jobs. It's going to bring employment. The other side believes that this is an attempt by the Chinese government to infiltrate this town, and to take over, to have spies come in and spy on people. There's a lot of conspiracy theories going on now. I don't know if there is any truth to them or not. Just letting you know that this is what's happening. A lot of people believe that the Chinese government are using this factory as a means to infiltrate possibly, you know, secret areas in the United States. Anyway, to prevent the township's sudden recalcitrance from unraveling an endeavor already years and millions of dollars in the making, the court should order the township to comply with its obligations under the party's agreement by, among other things, reinstating the resolution to approve the connection of the city's water systems to Goshan's project, said the lawsuit. Now, it is true that Goshan High Tech have spent many millions of dollars already. It's a really, really tricky situation here because Goshan High Tech clearly have a good point. The contract has been 
uh, unfairly reneged on. Now, should this contract have been given in the first place? Well, that's another issue. I'm not gonna say whether it should have been or it shouldn't, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. But the point is the contract has clearly been broken and Goshan clearly have spent many, many millions of dollars to get to this point in time. It's been a long process. The Detroit News first reported the lawsuit was filed last week. Green Township has 21 days after the filing to answer the complaint. Crane's Detroit business made multiple requests for comment for the township. And here's what the township had to say. Now, keep in mind, this is a small township. It would be very hard for them to get the financial resources that Goshon have. Goshon are a, a multi-billion dollar company and they have access, I'm going to assume, to the most expensive lawyers in the United States. I don't believe this small township would be in that same financial position. Pretty unlikely. It's unfortunate that Goshon has had to resort to litigation to get the township to comply with their obligations under the agreement, said Chuck Thielen, Vice President of Goshon's North American Operations. We're unable to comment further since this is now an ongoing legal matter. And in response to that, the township has not, it's not said anything, they're just keeping quiet. Since the project was announced in October of 2022, it had been wrought with controversy. Critics said the factory will do more harm than good to the tight-knit community. Well, conspiracy theorists have called it a Chinese communist takeover plot, a way to, for them to infiltrate and take over this town. Governor Gretchen Whitmer and economic developers have heralded the project as a once-in-a-generation opportunity to grow wealth in a poor community. Other politicians, primarily Republicans, have raised national security concerns over doing business with the company, um, which is, well, owned by China, or well, Chinese, you know, Chinese citizens and the Volkswagen Group, but primarily owned by, you know, Chinese citizens. A month ago, Goshan began cutting down trees at the factory site, which spans 270 acres of land purchased by the company for 24 million US dollars. A week later, it announced a new office in downtown Big Rapids, Michigan, where it intends to have 200 employees. Well, it intended anyway. Goshan Inc. is a subsidiary of China-based Goshan High Tech Company Limited. It was established in California in 2014. Now, the Volkswagen Group is the company's largest shareholder. They have 25% stake. China's national Li Zhen is the founder and president of the company, and he's the next largest shareholder with a 13.6% stake. Is it fair to assume that this company is getting uh, payments from the Chinese government in order to build this factory in America? Of course, absolutely it is. Um, the United States would probably help General Motors to build a similar facility in China, but that's not saying I agree with it, but I think it's very fair to assume that the company is getting well, what is called, it's a part of the Belt and Road Scheme. The Belt and Road Scheme is part of the Chinese government's plans on building factories in different countries all around the world in order to um, kind of, I wouldn't say take over, but yeah, definitely get a foothold there in the economic interests of that region. And it's definitely part of the Chinese government's plans that will absolutely give you incentives, uh, loans, even sometimes cash, uh, direct investment in order for you to uh, build factories overseas. The plant near Big Rapids would produce up to 400,000 tons of cathode material annually for lithium iron phosphate electric vehicle battery packs assembled in Illinois, where Goshon is planning to manufacture a $2 billion factory. Michigan officials approved a $715 million incentive for the factory, including $175 million of funding from the Strategic Outreach and Attraction Reserve and a 30-year renaissance zone property tax abatement valued at $540 million. So this project was well and truly underway. And now the township, well, is saying no. And this is going to go to court. It's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out. Guys, what do you think here? Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.